Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another reaction. We're checking out the latest pre-release from Artemis, this time a song called Candy Crush. Very, very excited about this one as always. Uh, as with Rhythm Flower, I started off by saying that I'm probably not going to try and get too into the concept and just take the song as is. I will do the same thing here. We'll attempt to make the same promise and whether I break it or not, I guess that remains to be seen. Anyway, very excited uh, about how this is going to sound like because obviously uh, birth sounded uh, one way, flower rhythm sounded completely another way, <laughs> you know, uh, this one, um, I I'm seeing a lot of like city pop uh comments in the comment section so uh, i'm guessing this one should be a lot of fun so without further ado let's get into it Ooh. is that an air force one reference I'm sorry, never mind. Just Oh, Ooh, the 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 draw is it the beat is almost like an 80s like Michael Jackson esque kind of beat. Like it's hit it, it, it's super um impactful. Like it's very like I don't know how to explain it. It's just very powerful. Um Very crispy. This is a perfect song for a night drive or like let's take it back or take a walk down like a neon city kind of thing i don't know uh anyway plastic candy Interesting. I'm getting some Boogie Nights vibes from the instrumental, kind of. Was beautiful there was like a lyric the ruder it is the more it pulls me and the plastic candy was kind of an interesting 
choice of words as well. So looking it up online, Candy Crush is a song that refined Plastic Candy, which Artemis' member Hazel uh, single. Uh, into a more Artemis style song and combine the members vocals to add richer sounds. The actual sound of this, it's it's like uh, very, I guess city pop uh, is the right way to describe it, but it, it, it just feels like a futuristic but yet retro-y kind of song. Like there's something nostalgic, but at the same time I can easily imagine like a a city of like nothing but neon signs and whatnot and just walking through it in the middle of the night with someone or like a night drive i guess as well it would be a nice little description to how this song kind of makes you feel but it's the vocals are so incredibly smooth and very delicate the visuals like the 80s kind of like disco vibes and like the roller blades maybe that's why it reminded me of boogie nights to be honest just the roller blades the roller skates sorry not blades i almost don't want to start thinking about how this falls in line with everything else uh other than like the the little shot of what i assume was like air force one uh nikes uh but it was a, a to maybe maybe it was air jordans but it would make sense if it was air force uh ones as they take off new shoes and put those shoes you know what this kind of like makes me okay fuck i didn't want to do it but uh this is a music video where they kind of like get to enjoy themselves and their own companies and uh there was like a lyric a happiness that isn't mine or something like that like i don't want to theorize too much they put the nike shoes which is the shoes that were introduced in um odd eye circle um odd eye circle right um in air force one like they burned the previous sneakers which were associated with luna and like the company of bb cucks that prevented them from not only making music but also preventing them from having fun so the fact that they can put those sneakers away to enjoy themselves it's kind of a interesting analogy to them now being able to breathe and not watch over their shoulders where they can just have fun and you know once they're done, they'll put on those Air Force Ones again and they'll, you know, go back to their journey and whatnot. Once everything comes out, I'm probably going to wait. I think there's a couple of more singles, right, before the the, the title track comes out. Uh, I'm probably going to wait until everything is out and react to everything at once. And then in retrospect, we'll think about the other three songs that we have already reacted to. And we'll kind of have a more in-depth discussion, uh, I guess, then. But uh, for now, this song was just absolutely lovely. Uh, the vocals are so smooth and delicate and just uh, very sweet. And uh, no pun intended, I guess. But uh, this was lovely. I don't know what else to say. The visuals are uh, beautiful. Kim Lip with that outfit specifically uh, is, uh, is something to, to definitely remember. And uh, overall, I really, really enjoyed this one. So... If you guys want to touch on something that maybe relates to something Luna, something Artemis, uh, let me know in the comment section and I will catch you all in the next one. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, check out the Patreon if you want to see some reactions to variety shows, survivor shows such as Quindom 2, which Luna were a part of. If you want to see me like fall more and more in love with Luna, check out those reactions if you're interested and I will catch you all in the next one. Be well and safe wherever you are.